Hi there. Um, in my last videos, I did share my diffuser uh, <coughs> customization tags and uh, the ways in creating the models for the diffusers with the round neck and uh, uh, rectangular necks. So here in this video, I'm going to discuss about how we're going to bring those parameters into schedule. Uh, one of the primary reasons why I made parameters is to bring them into schedules so they can be captured and it eliminates uh, manually typing in data and also for an accuracy standpoint it's great to have uh, things being reflected in schedules and plans in a simultaneous way. So in Revit we have a um, <coughs> we have um, a, a kind of a tree where you got schedules and on the bottom of this you can create as many as you want so the first thing that if you need to create schedules you have to go to view and then click on schedules so I've already done that part and I have brought in all the components that I need for my schedules so it was an add terminal schedule I've already created one add terminal schedule so it's asking me whether another schedule is required so this is how you create the schedule just for the heck of it let's create one and once I give that okay then it gives me all the parameters that I've created in the model um, right here See all the MDA standard parameters are the ones that I created and you could all highlight that and then bring it in. So all these parameters will be showing up in your schedule and then you just have to click OK to it and uh, it gets into your schedule. So let's check that out. See here, it's our terminal schedule too. The one that we just created is already populated. Oh, you can, we can go ahead and delete this, no harm in doing it. That's how I created the first one, at Terminal Schedule. Now if you want to edit some of the fields, we can go into Edil, Edit um, Parameters in here, Edit Fields, and um, we can um, control the appearances of certain things. For instance, if we want to control the dimension values, we can uh, go into the formatting tab or the appearance tab. However, uh, let's take the A dimension. So here we want, if we want to control the field format, for instance, this is all 18 inches right now. So if you want to convert this into feet and inches you can do so by taking this option feet and fractional inches and if you click OK this automatically changes to feet and inches so you can control those displays or formatting type using this dialog we'll just go back and change the field format to just into <coughs> decimal inches and uh, oh if you do decimal inches the inch symbol doesn't come up so I choose to use fractional inches and I leave it at that so we'll just have those 18 inches in there good <coughs> so it's nothing fancy about it all you need to do is to go to the view tab and then create the schedules then bring in your parameters and then automatically it gets into the uh, schedules and quantities tree. Now from here I've created a sheet called A101 diffuser schedule and um, I've brought in I have brought in the let's move this a little bit down whatever we saw in the um, in here <coughs> is being brought over to the sheet tabs 
so even here you can control some of the parameters like if you want to extend the notes column a little bit you can extend it or if you want to shrink it a little bit you can do either way and all these grips in here or these little triangles are meant for the same purpose you can expand them or shrink them down however you want to adjust them so it's kind of a nice feature and um, <coughs> what I want to focus here is the supply return and exhaust fall under one system application and uh, this text in here system application I brought it inside uh, by creating a box with text tab just like if you go to annotate tab and you can have a text in here so let's say system application and now you can bring this text you can bring this text to wherever you'd like to have it in your schedule so this one was not available in my main schedule but I had to tweak it a little bit on the sheet tab and bring this option into place it's not anything doing with the database but it is uh, it is an edit feature that you have you can apply it in the schedules to make the schedules uh, per your company standards so some of the see again here it's a ceiling type there's two types lane and surface mount this one is a text it's not in the schedule that we created here but we always have an option to itemize it in the sheet um, in the sheet box I mean in the sheet uh, um, drafting sheet uh, as well so let's delete the one that we created and uh, you see these headings headers are basically brought in from the uh, terminal schedules and it doesn't have to be the same as our parameters we have the option to change them as we would like for instance I don't like the add terminal schedule has to be the header I'd like to change it to grills uh, diffusers grills diffusers and or let's say grills and diffuser schedule or oh, let's say grills registers I mean grills diffusers and registers schedule I like to call it that way and uh, let's save that one if you go here see it automatically updates it in here so that's the nice thing about Revit you do it in one place it takes place in the other so anyway that is about the schedule creation and how to bring it to your sheet tabs with that I conclude this uh, tutorial and if there's any questions or concerns or feedback feel free to call me my number is area code five one two two nine nine six seven four eight or you can skype me add to me add, add me to your skype it's mm -hmm. rasa 2722 and i'd be happy to help with your revit mep projects thank you for watching bye